Oh, sorry about that. There we go. And so, it, why 3D print it? Uh, don't, no, nobody knows about it. <laughs> if, you, if, if, if you buy a gun through a dealer or transferred, or dealer rather, uh, it's, it's on record with, with, with the uh, ATF. Form 4473, I think, something like that. And, uh, you know, I just wanted to try it out, too. Off the books, you know. So you 3D printed the lower? Correct, yep. Yeah, she is. Sorry. Well, the fact that you can stay off the books? Well, off the books, well, if we didn't have 3D printing, we would have Make it, making it out of metal, machining it yourself, which people can already do. 3D printing is just a natural continuation of that. More accessible and easier uh, to do than uh, trying to machine a whole receiver by yourself. Yeah, no problem. Happy, ha happy to show it off. Honest question, are you nervous about telling media about having a gun that doesn't have registration? Or like a number or whatever? If it, if it was a metal receiver, I mean, it's it's legal to own. Oh, it's, it is. It's, it's legal to create. Right. It, there's, there's no law that says you can't create a, 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 a lower receiver, which is the only part of an AR-15 that's considered a firearm. There's no law against that. This oh. is perfectly legal okay. within the bounds of the law. This is just like if I was to take a block of aluminum and machine it and make it into a lower receiver myself. It's the exact same thing. And that's even without being an FFL. Yeah, like you, no, no, no FFL required. The Gun Control Act of 1968 allows you uh, to create your own firearms. You just can't sell or transfer it to anybody else. Right, so it'd be illegal if you handed it to somebody else. Yeah, if, 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 if I said, here, here's yeah. my rifle, take it. Right. It's yours now, I couldn't do that. Interesting. Unless it was like a family member, I think, and transferred it that it's way. Like registered like and everything. Yep. Uh, no, no registration, no nothing. And on the other side, I got to the other. You see that? Would it fall apart after like uh, multiple usages? Like I've seen like some like 3D printed guns yeah. that basically just melt. Well, like, well the. Uh, <laughs> From a few years ago, of like I think the Liberator was the first 3D printed gun. Yeah. That that was extremely primitive, single shot. Nowadays, extremely durable. Uh, I put 30 rounds through this thing the other day. Mm -hmm. Worked worked like a dream. Operated just per, absolutely perfectly. This 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 it's it's like if you bought a polymer receiver uh, that, that that that's prefabricated instead of printing it yourself. It's like that, you know. This is made out of PLA. I'm not sure what. I think uh, other polymer uh, receivers are made out of ABS. Mm -hmm. This is made out of PLA, different material, but it's very strong, very durable. Was the schematic for this involved with like Cody Wilson's uh, like like Liberator project, or is it just like a completely uh, no, co completely completely different group of people? Um, uh, a, a site called Control Pew uh, basically gathers uh, firearms related. Uh, 3D printed designs all together. Control and they, what? Control C T R L P E W. Control P U. They, they it, it's a, a, they have a website uh, controlpu.com and a YouTube channel, and it had you, the, for this particular receiver, I downloaded uh, it, had, it had the files to. to it had the files to print everything. It had the instructions how to put everything together. Very, it took me like a day. It takes like a day and a half to print. And I, I had like one like a dr test run. It worked. It came out all right. And I printed a second one at a higher resolution, which is the one you see right here. And this one ran perfectly. Ran fine. Absolutely perfect. I couldn't ask for a better rifle. Cool. Well, I appreciate you sharing that. that yeah, no problem.